All right. Well, welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, everyone had a very good weekend, especially us Pega Americans that were celebrating Easter. All right. Jesus Christ's last meal, and then he resurrects on the Easter Sunday, right? Perform the miracles and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, I always keep thinking that's actually, uh, because I always think of the crucifixion when it comes to Easter, and technically that's correct, but I didn't actually realize that he resurrects so much faster <laughs> just a couple of days later. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, so that's that. Uh, I did a. I actually wanted to take yesterday off, but because fear was literally nose diving. And thank you, by the way, to everyone who's new uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel. So I actually appreciate that a lot. That's actually how you could actually help me a lot. Well, that and don't block the ads for this channel, <laughs> right? So I could get a little bit of scratch from the YouTube monetization. But yeah, especially from the sphere community. So. Yeah, it worked out really nice. Worked out really, really nice. So, um, yeah, and we brought uh, Kato into the Elite Discord. So, shout out to uh, Kato Tenma. Uh, it turns out he's actually working for free because he actually just wants to help out the project. So, that actually makes him eat, like, uh, even better. Because, believe it or not, the best way to actually get rich is to work for free. Uh, there's not, there's nothing wrong with, like, you know, obviously charging for services or whatever, right? Because, obviously, you have to pay the bills. You know, you got to eat. And... You know, if you got a family, you got to feed, help feed them too, right? Obviously. Uh, but if you really want the most money, you know, because, like, you know, I don't really read or follow Robert Kiyosaki anymore. His Rich Dad books are actually pretty influential in how I think and operate. You want to work for free. And it actually makes sense because now that I'm trying to set up an offshore company, I'm trying to figure out the, the legal, you know, stuff, right, and it's going to cost, and I actually have to go back to using British Virgin Islands, because it's actually cheaper to use that, uh, it's going to cost me $3,200, which actually isn't that much in the grand scheme of things, uh, you actually do need to work for free, because the IRS cannot tax you if you're not, quote-unquote, earning money, right, so, so it really does mean that, and then you have to set up charitable foundations and all this stuff, so, uh, I'll probably explain it all in the video. The thing is, I have to kind of figure, be a little careful with that too, because it's obviously the IRS will eventually, you know, find this shit out. You actually probably get kind of angry. <laughs> so, but I mean, this is, but on the other hand, it's, it's weird because on the one hand, Trump kind of like fucked everything up with his uh, tax cut jobs act and all this other bullshit. But yet, I, you know, rich people and rich corporations are technically still in charge of everything. So, I don't know. There, there's just, like, a lot of contradictory information going on. So, I'll sort it all out, uh, you know, eventually. But, um, yeah. But hopefully, uh, crypto... I mean, as of right now, it looks like crypto's kind of catching a bid, right? Because yesterday, it just, it just went all the way down. It even really dropped below 39,000. Like, this is just so oversold. But it looks like the stock markets are doing kind of okay. It was definitely much more red. Stock futures fall as earnings roll in. Yeah, they'll probably have record profits, of course. Uh, let's see. And the 10-year yield is actually going down. People are actually buying up the bonds. So, yeah. I can't imagine this thing settling, uh, pricing in at 75% basis points. Because this thing used to be around 225, 235. And then they're pricing in a 50%, half a percent interest rate increase on May 4th, right? Uh, but this is, but, but Greg says going to settle above three, which eventually it should, but that's, but that's pretty extreme, right? Especially right now, because that means in three Wednesdays from now, you know, they're going to go up like, you know, the, the Federal Reserve is going to increase it <clears throat> 70, uh, a, uh, three quarters of a percent, so almost a whole percent. Uh, Twitter should take the money and run. Yeah, so even CNBC here is actually saying, I mean, you can't see because of this stupid little shit here. Even CNBC is actually running, hey, just take Elon Musk's money. So, I don't know. Uh, Elon Musk put them in a really hard bind, but, you know, look, I'm pretty sure Twitter is just going to ask, like, Facebook or Google to buy them out. Like, Microsoft especially will probably want to buy out Twitter. They've got more than enough money, and they're looking for something. <clears throat> So, and they obviously have the money for it. All right. <clears throat> so, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my throat. Uh, but, you know, I do need to go for my walk. 
All right, so this is actually good. So this is called Fish Farm Not Money, and you know we went over all the other you know previous side stuff. So you know let's hope that today is pretty good because right now shit's getting killed, right? So funny enough, minor projects are actually pretty decent for for situations like this because yeah, BNB and AVAX and Bitcoin whatever go down, but you know it's still it's still better than like say being in a Titano style project and then the thing drops 50, 60, 70 percent. You know I don't see these things dropping 50, 60, 70 percent, right? They really go down like you know one to five percent. So that's why, again, you want a nice, well-balanced portfolio of, like, different kinds of projects. And then you're pulling profits every day, right? For all you new people, you pull profits every day, right? Not the whole thing, obviously, because you need to compound. And, of course, if you have big pockets, you know, you don't want to damage the project. You know, that way, you know, it keeps you from going crazy. Because, again, you don't want to be in my situation, right? Metaverse Pro, right? December, right? I lose all my effing money, essentially. And then I have to now wait for Congruent to get back to kind of where I am at. I don't know how much money Sim lost on Metaverse Pro, but he also lost a lot, too. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it's not fun operating from that. All right. So, fishfarm.money was actually suggested to me by MDV, right, from the Elite Discord. So... Uh, day one, we got in. It went straight up. I was already sold. I put in a pretty big... Uh, see, the thing is, my bag size has recently been upgraded. So, I'm going to call it, like, above average moderate bag. Right? Not a crazy amount of money, but a good enough of chunk of change. So, you know, it's pretty nice. It's, it, uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, and it's been doing very, very well. Uh, now the dev fee is 3% so it's the same as baked beans so this is like the bare minimum like if you're paying oh yeah so it's up here so if you're paying 8% right then you really need a dev tax of 3% minimum it's not really they call it a dev tax but I mean I guess it is but it's basically a buy and sell tax of 3% that's how you can think of it so I like to think of minor projects as simplified, scaled-down versions of Titano, uh, or Sphere, I should say, nowadays, type of projects, right? But the difference is there's no real crazy price drop uh, action. You're actually dealing in just solely the major cryptocurrencies, so Phantom, AVAX, Milk Cardano, right? BNB, right? So... And yes, I've actually recently taken down the Lucky Cat BNB because that contract just keeps going down. The Binance dollar one keeps going up, though. So, you know, I'm very happy about that. Uh, I still tasked MDV with finding another stable coin miner project. Uh, but so far, you know, I haven't heard anything yet. So obviously, but, you know, when he does tell us, when he does tell the Elite Discord, obviously, I'll check it out for 24 hours and I'm going to immediately put it up on this YouTube and obviously, I'm probably going to invest, you know, above average moderate bag. You know, actually, I should just call it medium large bag. That's that's shorter for me to say. So medium large bag. I mean, it's not really, it's hard because when I want, because well, when I say large, I mean, that's a significant amount of money. And that's not nearly the amount. I'll just call it med uh, medium large, you know, so whatever. It almost sounds like I'm trying to shill, like, you know, hamburgers or something. Can I get a medium large, you know, Coke with, like, very large fries? <laughs> Yeah, and then I wonder why we're all so fat here. <clears throat> all right, so so yeah, so the contract has recently gone down by about 375 AVAX as of yesterday. So it's a little like, eh, but I mean, I think it should still be okay. I'm definitely going to keep watch of this. And obviously I'm adding this video to the playlist because, you know, I'm still making good money. All right, Ruby RubyMon's really doing well. I mean, actually, a lot of baked beans and Binance Dollar Lucky Cat's doing very well. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is actually Spooky Miner, right? That I got from Yada Crypto's YouTube. So, uh, and then we talked about in the Elite Discord, like, holy shit, this is really good. Because I really would like a miner project that's good on Phantom, and that's Spooky Miner, which will be the next video. So, you know, I'm going to try to, like, find you guys and gals the good projects, right? Because, you know, because if you notice, my playlist has been shrinking a lot lately right i've just been removing projects because you know it's it, like this current downturn in crypto is really just screwing up a lot of projects and it's like yeah it is kind of confirming to me that unless you're like seifu web3 
right? You bring some utility or sphere. And of course, Titanal is the exception because they're the original project. And even they're having a lot of problems. I mean, a Titanal fork really just doesn't work anymore. All right, you have to actually have something more. All right, and then once QLOS comes out for Sphere, maybe that'll help things out. Even High Point right now is below a penny now. I mean, I already took a lot of profit off of it because I anticipated it would drop a lot, but it's like, man, I mean, High Point's not a bad project, but and it's still like basically getting destroyed by everything else. It's like, ugh. So I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. But I mean, people still on this channel still want Titano fork. So all right, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, so I mean, again, it's a minor project. I mean, there's not really much to say. You just put some AVAX in in this case, and then you you know compound, which is called rehire, or you sell it, to, which is cash out. And of course, you'll be paying the three percent. Uh, obviously, you avoid this three percent tax when you compound, uh, which is rehire, right? But obviously, you're going to deposit. You do hire. So, so what you might notice here is there's when you do compounding, there's actually a 35% chance, as you can see here, to get 20% extra rewards. So that's actually kind of nice. Otherwise, you just earn what you normally get. So not only is it still a pretty good daily APR before the tax, but there's a small chance that every time you compound, you can get 20% extra. And I actually got the 20% extra. I mean, I got the pop-up that says, Hey, you actually got, you know, I forgot what the pop-up said, right? It was just like the mini pop-up that shows up at the bottom of your screen. It says, hey, you actually, uh, you know, got lucky and you got 120% rewards. Like, oh, that's that's cool. So it could actually be in your benefit to constantly compound, uh, recompound multiple times a day if you put it in a big enough bag. Uh, and it actually updates the amount of AVAX too. So it's actually really nice. Like, so you could actually see how much you're earning in real time. Like I actually don't have anything in here, so you don't see these numbers going up. Uh, and it goes up to five decimal points. So, if you, so even if you put in a smaller amount of money, you can actually see your money grow. And uh, yeah, so my recommendation as always is compound. So for 12 hours approximately, compound, and then 12 hours later, withdraw. So basically, like I, well, what I like to do is compound in the morning when I wake up, and at night before I go to bed, I pull profits. Now, because I'm uh, at home all, all the time, in about three, four hours, I actually do go and I recompound again. So I actually compound twice in the day, and then before I go to bed, so that gives me about eight to nine to ten hours, I pull profit. All right. Uh, so it's just a rough guideline. You know, obviously, you're going to figure out for you, you know, how it works, because obviously, you don't want to. I mean, unless you do what I do, which is just sit at home all day and play video games or watch, I uh, do research or whatever. I actually do a lot of research and reading. I watch, you know, uh, whatever, Twitch or, you know, good anime shows, right? I'm almost done watching Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, it sucks because I like these shows so much and then, like, they're just over. It's like, oh, man. Uh, and I'm also watching for uh, for Hollywood screenwriting purposes as well because, yeah. But, oh my god, we're gonna, this video will be unnecessarily long, so, I don't know, ask me about it some other time. Ah, oh, it would be nice to go into that. So, yeah, so anyway, check out Fish Farm Money. I like the project. Now, be aware about this contract. I mean, it was going straight up, so now it's coming back down a little bit. However, I think it might be one, does it say when? Oh, great, you're gonna make me do this. Uh, I was gonna try to find out when... Uh, oh my god. Oh, I got this thing in the light. Jesus Christ. I really hate when they do this. I'd rather have a tech. I mean, it looks better. God, this thing is... Okay. Uh... Well, in case you're worried, essentially this is due to the compounding taking effect. Where is my initial investment? <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Can I... Okay. Uh, daily APR can vary depending on the poor stability of the contract. However, saying this average daily return will consist from... Uh, okay. Depending on your harvesting strategy, you may see an unusual consistency in your rewards. If you sell too much, you'll produce less as time goes on. Okay. 
See, so I'm reading that they have something like this. I don't know if that's actually true because I looked at Ruby Mine and I looked at a random sample size, very small, and they, there's people that are actually constantly selling their 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 takes. So I don't know. I I don't actually think this is a thing. I could actually be wrong. Could very well be wrong because that's what everyone's saying. And this one is this is actually the first project fact that I read that actually explains how does it actually defend against you know, too much drink, uh, dumping power. <clears throat> Claim all the time will decrease your rewards, part of a protocol, blah, blah, blah. It's better to compound. See, I mean, part of the problem is if they're going to have something like that, they really need to do something where, like, if you're actually selling a lot, you can actually see this daily APR go down. So it actually gives you feedback saying, hey, you're actually losing money. Stop dumping so much. Right? Because when you sell, which I did yesterday, last night, right? It still says 8% for me. Same thing with Ruby Mine. So it's like, I don't know. Like, they have to, like, code that in. Otherwise, it, people are just going to think, oh, this is bullshit. I'll, I'll just, you know, take profit. You know, because I look at Lucky Cat, right? A lot of their projects, the thing just keeps draining like crazy. So I, I don't think, uh, I don't think this thing is working. Rehiring will increase your reward. This is due to compounding. Where's my initial investment? Your initial investment is locked and can earn over time. You will get increments of your initial back. Uh, God, this this thing is old. This thing is lagging like crazy. So six days a week compounding, and then you sell on day seven. Uh, blah, blah blah. See, that's why I think this is bullshit. But I mean, it did say earlier that you could go up to you can go down to five point five percent. So maybe in this particular thing, it's it's hard-coded so that if you sell all the time, like I've seen some people do on the Ruby Mine project, at least in the case of Fish Farm, your daily APR will go from 8% to 5.5%, which is still a lot. So people are still going to just keep dumping. Like if I were to run a project like this, I would set it <clears throat> so that basically you would get like half a percent and then and then it's like okay <laughs> well, well thanks for all your money essentially so uh because uh, again if you because you, what you really because obviously what's the point of these types of projects right i mean if you you know if you're constantly draining the contract, right, and everyone else does it, that's obviously going to kill your project, right? Oh, there we go. So now, so the, the amount of AVAX just went up a lot. Okay, it's a very, very good sign. Uh, yeah, so you saw it in real time. You know, it just went up, uh, what, 16, 17 uh, AVAX? Very good, very good. Yeah, uh, God. All right, we already explained the 35, 65. I'm getting really sick and tired of this laggy shit. What prevents a whale from draining the wallet? Uh, built-in anti-well, we ensure the whole lot works as follows. User 1 rehires fishers, uh, 6 to 1 and gets the highest daily APR within 24 hours. User 2 hires fishers, 5 2 and gets a lower percentage. User 3 does 4 3 and then getting even lower percentage. The strength of 2 is all the way down until rewards reach 0.5% per 24-hour period. Uh, okay, so... So this thing says it does actually go down all the way to 0.5%. Hmm. Is there a way I can actually check? That's the referral. Here's the contract address. I could actually... Okay, so I want to look at this. Is this the guy? Yeah, this is the guy. So transfer, transfer, transfer. All right, so this guy has sold fish. So he sells twice a day. He doesn't even bother compounding. Uh, he sells three times a day, and then he transfers. Yeah, see, this guy isn't even bothering to rehire anyone. Yeah, see, because when I see shit like this, this is why I think this thing doesn't work. <clears throat> Because technically me doing uh, one or two compounds per day and then taking profit a day, you know, that kind of like maybe screws things up too. I mean, it's technically supposed to. Hmm. 
Had two hours of fun. You only know, hires Fisher six million gets the highest daily of your hour within their twenty four hour period. So it seems like when you claim, supposedly your APR goes down and it starts a clock for twenty four hours. But if you claim again within twenty four hours, maybe it'll reset the timer and lower it again. Huh. I don't know. I guess there's one way for me to find that out because. You know, I'll just notice that my rewards keep going down, I guess. Huh. Which makes me wonder, does Baked Beans have something similar? Baked Beans, I.O. Great. Yeah, I notice a lot of websites, especially crypto-related websites, are just not fucking working right now. See, it doesn't even say anything about it here. Like, yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe you could decide if you really want to do it the way I do it. I'll do it for now, and I'll just, you know, observe. But all of you uh, can decide if you want to do 6-1. Excuse me. Because I'm still very unsure if this actually works. Because, again, you just saw someone just keeps dumping, right? So, actually, let's go back to that contract. Uh, what was the guy again? I think it was this one. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll also look at this one as well. Okay, so he's been dumping fish like crazy. So he claims this money and then he transfers the AVAX to somewhere else. Okay. Oh, I need, I want to see all his transactions. So... So he hires Fishers of two days ago, and he buys diamonds. So he probably so this guy's in uh, Ruby Mine as well. So he's just been dumping, and he just transfers the money someplace else. Uh, buy diamonds. <coughs> oh, poor poor idiot. He's got a lot of failing transactions. Okay, well, whatever. So he's draining his wallet. Let's see. Uh, Harvest Ruby. Oh, so diamonds. So diamonds was diamond mine. Harvest Rubies is ruby mine. Okay, got it. All right, so this guy's been around a lot longer. All right, let's see. What are you doing? He also has quite a bit of money. So refund. Huh? So he sells fish six minutes ago. What we're looking for is rehire. So he hires fishers. Buy diamonds, Harris Rubies, Hatchig. So he's in other minor projects as well. So he actually just recently found out about this project too. Two days and 21 hours ago. <clears throat> and he only sold fish one time. Uh, so, wait, no, this is the guy. What's the contract? No, that's not right. Oh, okay. Rehire, sell, sell. Uh, let's take a look here. Because with Ruby Mine, I saw people just dumping, but with me with this fish thing, it'll be a little different. <coughs> All right. Yeah, this guy doesn't even buy a compound. He just dumps everything too. So he hired Fishers two days and 20, uh, 22 hours ago. So he sold fish four hours later. Selling fish again, selling fish. Yeah, he's not even bothering to compound either. Sell fish, sell, 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 sell. Oh, let me look at this. He's selling a shit. Ton. Wait, one fish sold eight hours ago, eight minutes ago, he sells more fish. So, let's see. That's a transaction fee. Let me see. How am I going to find out how much he's actually claiming? Oh, great. Alright, well, whatever. I guess I'll find out my, uh, on my own. Because obviously if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to do 6-1 as well. So it's not too big of a deal. But, alright. So, yeah. So, I mean, you're seeing that this may or may... Let's see. Lower percentage. 4-3. So here's the thing. This example assumes... Uh, I, hmm. 
I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess we'll have to see. And obviously, I'm not gonna give out the affiliate link. I mean, that'd be nice if you're gonna type this out manually, but I rather. Or I just not take the affiliate, the uh, whatever payout, just so that you know the project stays sustainable. So plus, I'm just too lazy to have to manage like multiple wallets, right? So uh, it's already a pain in the ass to deal with what I have. So anyway, this was 25 and a half minutes long. That's way longer than it was supposed to be. But you know, obviously, the first video that I make in a day, you know, I actually cover like the side stuff. Plus, I actually do want to research. Like, all right, this is how I think, right? Because I don't just put money blindly in and then, you know, go, hey, why, where, why did I lose all my money? You got to actually look at the fundamentals. You got to really dig into the guts, right? Because I got to show you how I think. So that's why, you know, I look at the, uh, the contract there. So I don't know. I'm still 50-50. Do they actually enforce this? Because there's no feedback mechanism. There's no feedback mechanism here. I don't know. I, I guess we'll just see. I guess we'll just see. So it's up to you to decide how you want to play uh, these minor projects. But, I mean, this thing says that it does enforce it. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem that way because people are still just dumping all the time. I don't even bother, They don't even bother the compound, so I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Because it does sound like compounding doesn't actually affect the timer. The only time it affects the timer is when you hit the withdraw button, or in this case, the sell button. Right, and then it starts a 24-hour timer on your, on I guess on your wallet, right? And then I guess if you claim again within 24 hours, maybe it'll reset it back to 24 hours, and then lower your APR. So instead of so you sell one time, you go down to seven and a half percent. Then if you sell again within that time, you down go down seven percent. But that doesn't seem to make sense because if people are constantly dumping, that means they're going to hit the 0.5 percent daily APR thing pretty fast. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, well I, I still think it's bullshit, but again, I can't read contract code. Alright, code. So, uh, is this the whole thing? It seems a little low for just 311 lines of code. Contract, you got contract creation. This deploys. I mean, I guess it's this one. Uh, control F. Daily, uh, APR, oh fuck, great, they did, we have tax percent three, fishing step, boost percent, boost chance, so that's the, so that's the, um, yeah, that's the 20% reward, boost chance, 35% chance of it happening. Uh, rewards. Okay, so he, uh, let's see if I can figure out safe math. I used to. Uh, I'm trying to look for the code part of this code where it says it will subtract your reward daily APR. Okay, rehire, sell fish. Here we go. If there's going to be something here, this is where we'll find it. There's a transfer tax, payable, sub math, get tax, sell rewards. Calculate, sell, user, fish. Okay. Calculate, trade. Here we go. Calculate sell. View public returns. Calculate trade fish market fish. Address this balance. Calculate trade. Return this. Safe math mode BS. Safe math duty. Safe math multiple. Okay, so that's the thing. Calculate buy. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. Like what we're looking for is something here that says. Get reward of wallet address, in this case address this dot balance, get reward, check 24 hour timer, if so, subtract daily APR reward. I don't see anything even remotely like that. I mean obviously if one of you happens to actually be a coder, definitely take a look at this code and let us know in the comments and I'll probably and I'll obviously pin this because so rewards 
uh, equals zero. If user fish is greater than zero, several words just calculate cell. Uh, okay. Cell rewards equals calculate cell of user fish. This is just checking to see if you, I guess you deposited money first. That's why it says zero. That's why it's set to zero. Uh, da, 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 boost percent. Yeah, this has to do with the contract just giving out rewards. Okay, and that's the end of this contract. Wow, this is. I can't believe these minor projects make so much money and it's only like 311 lines of code. So what did it say? It's calling calculate cell and feed as an argument calculate calculate cell calculate cell. Here we go. It's just simply calling this. Yeah. See, there's no fuck. This is bullshit. I don't. They don't, they don't. They don't. Whatever. I mean, I'm still. I'm still gonna try it. Now, so I want someone to obviously double check that I could be wrong. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. I mean, that's why people are just constantly dumping. It's just, and they, I don't like, first of all, I don't like that they just say that and it actually turns out to be a lie. I don't really like that, all right? But, I mean, I kind of understand why. If they are lying, I understand why, because obviously they want to just, you know, keep it, you know, tr uh, transparent. I mean, try to keep it sustainable, but, um, I don't know. I guess somebody will have to work it, so. I don't know. And this is just for fish farm. Maybe it doesn't work with, um... Ruby mine, but I don't know. From what I can tell, it kind of, you know, it's not an issue. So, all right, we're way above, we're way above our 32 minutes. I'll see you in the next video. It'll be spooky mire. I'll try to actually keep that below 10 minutes at least. But you know, we covered a lot of ground here, and especially this contract stuff. So, actually, now that I looked at it, maybe in the spooky miner thing, I could actually do the same thing too. Actually, I'll probably actually look at the Ruby mine contract and see if they actually have that function too. So, you know, I'll tell you the results in the Spooky Miner video. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, spread the video around. Obviously, this is way too long. Well, it's longer than I would normally like for a miner project. Because uh, usually Tomb Forks and maybe Titano Forks tend to be longer. But, you know, whatever. That's, that's just how it goes. All right, see you next video. Thanks.